a woman whose weight is 513 newton is poised at the right end of a diving board with a length of 3.9 meter the board has a negligible weight and is bolted down at the left end while being supported 1.4 meter away by a fulcrum as shown in figure find the forces and that find the forces and that the bolt and the fulcrum uh, respectively exert on the board forces okay forces may be a okay uh, i will consider this as f1 okay and this as f2 and this as w w is the weight and that is given to us as 530 newtons okay and then we have to find out f1 and f2 and then the total length of the board is uh, 3.9 meters okay <clears throat> so this distance is given as 3.9 meters and then the distance between the fulcrum and the bolt is 1.4 meters this is 1.4 meters now we have to find out the forces here the lady is in static equilibrium. She is not moving. Okay. So we have to write down the conditions. What are the conditions for static equilibrium? One condition is sigma f is equal to zero. And then the second condition is sigma tau is equal to zero. That means some of the forces must be equal to zero and some of the torques must be equal to zero. That means the net torque must be equal to zero. Now, what are the forces acting here? Because the bolt is here. So we have to write the upward forces are upward forces are positive and then downward forces are negative. So I will write down the y direction forces. F y is equal to F2 minus F1 minus W is equal to 0 because the object is in static equilibrium. Therefore, F2 is equal to F1 plus W. <coughs> Okay, this is the first equation. Next equation, torque, net torque must be equal to zero. So what are the net torque? So F1 has zero. F2 into distance. Torque tau is equal to R cross F bar. Okay, so R bar is the distance. Therefore, sigma tau is equal to, this is 1.4 into F2 minus because this is downward force 530 into 3.9 distance 3.9 is equal to zero this implies 1.4 f2 is equal to 530 into 3.9 r f2 is equal to 530 into 3.9 divided by 1.4 therefore f2 is equal to what is the value? 1476 newtons. Now substitute in this, in this equation, let it be equation one. So one for F2 is equal to F1 plus W R. Um, F1 is equal to F2 minus W. That is equal to 1476 minus 530 gives F1 is equal to 946 newtons. This is the answer for this question. Okay. Okay. This helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.